The darkness, the pain, and agony you endure can consume you until the last bit of self-respect and love inside you is lost. It can feel like there is no way out. Hatred fills you and you stop caring. The reward of revenge is seducing, like a sweet calling for salvation. Your bully, it's a satanic son of a bitch and you are craving, yearning to crush its fucking skull. But my dear friend, revenge will not bring the salvation you so desire. Neither does death. Your feelings of vengeance are actually feelings of domination and tyranny. The same motivation the bully has for the crime you suffer from. Let me share what forgiveness means. Forgiveness is not accepting or approving of bullying. Forgiveness is not denying that you are hurt or denying that bullying is a crime. Forgiveness does not mean that the crime shouldn't be stopped. Forgiveness is not saying that bullying should not have consequences for the bully. Forgiveness is only about you and not about your bully. Forgiveness is something you do for yourself. Forgiveness means letting go. It is about loving yourself and allowing yourself not to be a victim. It is the most effective way to retaliate as it takes away all the bully has in its life effect on you. Those who say forgiveness is weak, those who believe in an eye for an eye, that is the audience speaking. The cowardly audience craving for people's blood and pain without taking part, and claiming innocence if all goes wrong. As my friend Mahatma Gandhi once said, an eye for an eye only leaves the whole world blind. Consider it. Where does it all end? It can end with you, my dear.